All right, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Derby City Classic. Uh, we have Tyler Steyer versus Randy Hansen. Uh, we are playing nine ball today, race to nine. And uh, I am Patrick Glenn. I'm joined in the booth with the Stone Mason, Mason Cook. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a good matchup. Tyler Steyer, of course, uh, Wisconsin native. Uh, he is playing against Randy Hansen, and he plays out of Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, uh, Iowa, that's correct. Big Dog Billiards. And uh, yourself, you are playing in the Derby City Classic. Yeah, it was a great event. It was my first year. And uh, I'm excited to watch some of the footage here. Yeah, this is this is a good match here, um, Tyler. Sorry, oh, you guys are both from Wisconsin, so. Yes, so it looks like Randy won the lag. Now, is this is a winner break format, correct? Yes, it was winner break. So he's got a uh, first break coming up, and uh, they are uh, spotting the nine on the spot. Yeah, They're putting the nine on the spot, and why why did they do that here, at Derby City? Well, they were adjusting rules for events for a while, so they incorporated that one um, to try to make the break a bit tougher for a lot of good players. The wing ball is natural, and the the uh, shape on the one ball is also pretty pretty natural. So. Okay, so yeah, like you saw right there, typically that one ball would have been going right in the side pocket, um, and it just missed a little a little high. Right. So you think that's due because they, they move it up a little bit, huh? Yep, and it kind of, where the one landed, that has something to do with it too, because um, just different speeds. And, and so they think it makes the break a bit tougher. I think it does to an extent. Um, and so it's just a rule that uh, Derby continued to use. So. Gotcha. Well, Randy made a ball. And he's got a shot on the one here. Looks like he's playing a one three. Oh. Ooh, missed it a little high. Yeah. Maybe a little nerve. He's playing uh, Tyler. Yeah, Mos I mean Moscone Cup player winner. Yeah, two-time Moscone Cup winner, and uh, I think he uh, played again this year, didn't he? He's got so. Three, three Moscone Cup appearances that yeah. I'm aware of. Yeah, that's right. And the, Randy really had a uh, perfect opportunity for the Open, so kind of shocking to see him miss that. I actually just saw a Facebook post recently uh, out of that they got a few people solidified for the next Moscone Cup, and uh, out of 20 people that were mentioned to possibly join the team, your name was brought up. Yeah, that was so, so cool. So how exciting is that? Yeah, it, it's nice to see because it's uh, a lot of work. And I tell you, I was stoked to see it. I was like, <laughs> oh, holy cow, Mason, that's awesome. I mean, yes. you've been putting in some work. Yes. Yeah, it's exciting. It'd be great to have two Wisconsin players. I'd love to play on a team with Tyler. And yeah, that'd be awesome. Two, two uh, Wisconsinanianites uh, yeah. representing the country. Yeah, the state would go crazy, I think, so... Yeah, and I got to uh, meet Tyler right before this match. Uh, what a, what an awesome guy! I was I was actually talking with his parents. Um, you know, I didn't know that it was his parents, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're here to watch your son." You know, and they're like Tyler Steyer. I'm like, "Oh wow, Tyler's your son! Wow, you must be very proud. He's such an amazing, great pool player." Well, Tyler was standing right behind me, and he's like, "Who? That guy? He kind of <laughs> sucks." Yeah. And I look, and I'm like, "What? Oh." Well, what's up, Tyler? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, what a, what an intro. <laughs> yeah, he just he just walked up to me yeah. right behind me, like listening to me talk about him. At least I, I was talking good about him, you know. So yeah, it was funny. Very confident young man, that's for sure. Yeah, and a reason to be puts in his work. He's one of the harder working players in the in the game. Yeah, very. He he performs well at the Moscone Cup too, and uh, every time I watch him play, he plays strong. He's uh, making quick work of this rack. Not an easy rack to get out here, but he's uh, making it look easy. Yeah. Landed pretty straight on this six ball, so I, I think I'd see him draw back and take the long, the long, long eight. eight. Yeah. And that's what he But he if used. he's got an angle, he'll try not to do that. 
but there we are so oh that was a nice little draw too i mean just just a few inches is all he needed so i also got to meet uh somebody that worked with tyler steyer um one of his coaches and older gentleman you might know him um can't remember his name jerry bryson jerry that's his name and uh i didn't know he was he was working with me he came up and you know, watched me shoot for, you know, 15 minutes and worked with me for about 30 minutes. And I couldn't believe the amount of knowledge that guy had. Oh, yeah. He's okay. renowned. He's uh, one of the top coaches in the country considered. So, and he, he's a Wisconsin native also. Yeah, yeah. M yeah. And uh, I think he moved down to like Florida or something. Yep. Or, yeah, but yeah, he, he started picking just little things apart about, you know, my stance and the way I was, I mean, everything. I was just like, really kind of changed my stroke a little bit. So. Yeah. Yeah, he he continues to have his awareness on that. So yeah. re renowned, he was always uh, Jeanette Lee's uh, coach. Yeah, and he was he was actually he's at this match right now, um, or was at this match watching Tyler play. So it was exciting to meet him. Really, really cool to talk with him. So uh, Tyler takes the first game. Uh, that's a uh, one to nothing. Uh, race to nine, and Tyler will be breaking. Yeah, and Randy's got to be, you know, a little up upset with that opener. He had pretty routine shot. Yeah, he just missed it a little high. I mean, it was a not a very complicated combo, but like he said, I think it was probably just the nerves maybe. Right. So this is a big event. This might have been early in the event. Was this maybe? Yeah, This. so this is round two. So, uh, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm, I'm sure Tyler probably won his first match. I'm not sure if uh, Randy won his first match or not. I mean, if he lost his first match, so that, that puts him on an elimination match here, which, yeah, you know, when you're playing true. someone like Tyler Steyer, the pressure's really mm -hmm. mounted up. So good break on, on how many balls, but he, he did not leave a good shot on yeah, the no, two. Yeah, no shape on the two here. So what, probably a push out, or you think he'll try and kick for a safety here? I think Tyler would play a push here it's a little early in the match to be aggressive but he he might just dependent on you could get uh, maybe a full hit on the two and uh play a safe too a little bit so yeah he it looks like he's kicking at it i know tyler knows who randy and so oh he missed it so yeah it's gonna be ball in hand so if you play, w I'm sh I'm sure you played with Tyler a few times. Yes. Uh, have you played with Randy at all? Yep. Uh, it was years ago, but and only a couple, couple matches I think. But um, at at that uh, Big Dog Billiards, I played there against him. Uh, and that's in Des Moines. Des Moines, yeah. Moines, so Iowa. Yep. Okay. And he he is a solid player, so I was shocked to see that that combo miss, but. He's got another prime opportunity here. Yeah, I mean the table doesn't look like there's too many problems here. I mean everything is in the in the open. Yeah. Looks like he's on the four, easy path to the five here. Eight to the nine might be a little tricky depending on his angle, but I think that's the only problem in the rack. Yeah. If there is one. Right. It it'll really be determined from the seven ball as to where you land on the eight because there's yeah. a pretty big zone if he can get there yeah and, it, and he's probably thinking about it Ooh, wow. he, he rattled the five <clears throat> so that's a uh, two unforced errors there by randy what's tyler doing here so yeah not even not even really a good shot can he cut that in it's pretty close, but I think you could get a good safe if you uh, roll over behind the nine. See what Tyler decides to do here. He is hitting it really thin. Yeah, and you know, you've got to, if you're reading the, the room, you've now realized that you can maybe go for some more aggressive shots. Oh uh, yeah, push since, you're, since you're getting that opportunity, and he got a nice little hit on the seven, bumped it out of the way. So 
So that was nice. Yeah. He wanted a little further on that one, but he's going to be able to play on the right side of the seven. He's just got to hit this ball a bit more instead of being able to drift it right down. Ooh, that was interesting. I thought he was going to drift right down to the left side of the eight. He went on the right side. And perfect on the nine ball. Yeah. So give him a two to zero lead in a uh, race of seven, right? Uh, race, nine? race of nine. Yeah. Race of nine. Yeah, that's one thing I like uh, a little bit longer of a race. Yeah, uh, me and Chris were talking about it the other day. Um, you know, some of these matches and every event has different formats. Um, at this level of pool, like when you're playing this level, people like yourself and Tyler, the, the races I think do need to be a little bit longer, you know, because someone like yourself or Tyler could just bust out winter break format. You know, they could run five racks. Yes. You don't even get a chance. Yeah. When you got, I mean, nine racks, it's it can happen. I watched Danny Olson do it, Earl Strickland, break and run nine racks, mm -hmm. but rare. Yeah. The, the other person at least gets a chance. You know, they actually have a rule here. Oh yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah let's tell us about and it. it. And it's uh, if if the one player can break and run, All because it's winner it's a yep. winner break format, so you could break and run the whole set, and it's also a uh, single elimination tournament. So if they can break and run the whole set, the opponent gets one chance to match it. To match it, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if that's actually ever happened. I don't believe so, <laughs> but it's a very cool rule. Uh, just to be out there, you know, I, it's such a yeah. s a slim probability that somebody's going to go back to back with e with what a, what is already a uh, remarkable feat. Yeah, uh, nine racks. I mean, that's like bowling three hundred yeah. four, four times in a row. So I mean, to see uh, two players go back to back with that would just be that'd be insane. And then, so let's say that does happen, right? Then what happens? They play one more game, I think, is what they do. They lag They lag for the game, for the break, and I think it's decided by the last game. Okay. Is yeah, what it, is. it was written out somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I just read the rule the other day. Um, yeah, so what would happen if, if it, you know, the one in a million thing, they both yeah. break and run. They would lag, and that's who gets to break, and lo and behold, you probably have another break and run, <laughs> finish it out. That was a nice shot there by Tyler. He really got a good good speed to still be on that five. Came behind the six and really in a pretty good spot for getting himself a good chance on the six because the, the eight was kind of blocking the obvious pocket. So he's playing the five on the side, correct? Yep. And then so the ball's coming around the nine to get on the six? Um, how's he getting on the six here? I think he can probably go straight back here. Just draw... He might back. he might end up nudging the nine just a little bit, but kind of almost getting right where he's at now with his cue ball would be pretty good. See how he plays it? Just a stop shot. All Looks right, like he played for the bank. Yeah, he f which is a it's a smart play. Again, he he's got to be feeling pretty confident. He's had a couple opportunities he really knows he wouldn't or shouldn't have, and so just kind of. Yeah, playing and free. And at this point, banking, I mean, they've already went through the bank's uh, portion of the tournament, so. Yeah, sure and that, that does play a factor. That's true. Yeah, so he's probably very comfortable banking right now. Yeah, the rest, it looks like he's out here. I mean. Yeah, this is uh, pretty easy because it's right by the pocket, but there's a little bit of worry on what's the speed of this table and yeah. how to how to hit it to to stay on that eight if you decide to go a little harder. Just nice and soft, just like that. Yeah, yeah, the worry would be the cue ball running up above the eight. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it nice. Sweet I little draw. Got him back. Yeah, he controls it so nice. Look at that. Yeah, he's one of the better draw players. So did you see the... Tyler Steyer uh, draw shot challenge, the one that he has? Um, I know that I've seen a few lives 
on on Facebook about yeah, um, he, certain drills. Yeah, that he's, he's shooting. He's got a draw drill that I've been working on. I've it's really tough to do. I mean, even if you hit it right and you get it good, mm-hmm. it's really hard. Basically, what he's doing is he's putting the the object ball one ball off the top of the rail on the side, two diamonds down, and then he's putting another ball at the bottom of the rail one diamond over and you got to draw it all the way down and get on the pro side of it okay i mean it's tough yeah i know uh a lot of the time he'll do the mighty x drill um, which is basically a straight in long table cross corner shot and uh i was just practicing that with our local local guy uh kaden hillman on his way to Caden, ju- one of our juniors. Yeah, he's awesome. on his way. He's in Vegas right now for junior nationals and the junior international championship. And I, I spent a lot of time at his house this last week, and we did some some of that drill, uh, drawing the ball straight back to the the pocket. It's it's the best feeling when you can hit it. So yeah, it's going to be interesting uh, with uh, Mr. Caden Hillman in a few years. He's going to be uh, he's going to be challenging you. Yeah, maybe another someday. another Wisconsin. Yeah. How sweet would that be? Ten years, me, Tyler, and uh, Kaden. The uh, three amigos. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. So Tyler broke well. Got shape on the two here. There's a... The only problem is a 5.8 is a little close, but I think you can negotiate that pretty well. Yeah. You've either got the carom or the combo does go if you come a little far. This is not where you'd like to be necessarily. Jacked up a little bit over that seven. See how he hits this. Uh, he put some inside on that, huh? To bring it back like that. A little outside. Oh, he put outside on that. Yep. He hit it really clean. Uh, a positive there is how he bridges over that seven. You always want to get as flat. As yeah, possible. That, and that's difficult, you know, when you're taking a shot on a nine-foot table when you're jacked up over a ball. Not easy. All right, so he's got to get on the five here. Okay, so maybe playing the carom shot here? Yeah, and so the difficulty here is controlling where that five lands, uh, but I think he'll try to run right where you pointed kind of thick into the rail so that it hits uh thick into the six yeah and kind of stops right there and the five should be going down table yeah oh look at that right like that wow that was nice so now the rack wide open here Yeah, real smooth. I think he took the opportunities that he's got and decided to not give Randy another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, well, each mistake Randy's made, Tyler has made him pay. You know, he d- he never got back to the table. So this will be a break and run for Tyler, I believe. So that's uh, 3 nothing in the race to nine. Randy needed to do... Uh, do something here to apply some pressure or uh, get a win here because Tyler can run away with this really quick. Yeah, nine ball is the, is it the last event at Derby? Yeah, this is the last event of the, the three events. You start with one pocket, then you go to, oh no, you started with banks, mm-hmm. then one pocket and then nine ball. Yeah, and so it's the first time that you can hit a straight in ball. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's excited to, I know I am, to kind of just play a little bit. So I think you'll see players a little bit more free. They'll, well, they'll take on bank shots li- like that shot uh, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. And you're, because you're already warmed up to all the specialty shots, you know. Yeah. Now, now you can hit them straight in too. So kind of is a unique uh, way that the tournament runs like that so and how did uh, how did you feel the tournament ran um you were there run smooth or 
yeah for the level of players that they get they get like what 600 i think uh amount of participants in the each event so um it was yeah, for that for that matter and all the you know intricacies of adding players in from when they pick yeah. the, pick their buyback and th- things like that is uh i think overall pretty smooth for all of that considered looks like he dropped two balls in the uh, upper left corner there just drilled him in and looks like he's got shape on a one yeah not and many left yeah so he's probably going to be out here or he dropped three balls actually yeah yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really big field. I mean, there was a lot of people. Uh, I, I'm guessing there was over 100 pool tables at this event. I mean, there was quite a few tables. It was really a really cool venue at the uh, Caesar Hotel and Casino. So uh, really, really cool. He had a little angle there. I couldn't tell. So got real nice on the two ball. Yep. So now where is he going to play his three ball, you think? I think he'll kind of try and get his cue ball a little bit more to the left from where the two is now, kind of roll f- off the rail. Yeah, just like that. He's got shape on the three, and then he's got to get to the six, which looks pretty routine here. He's probably just going to come over, huh, and play it down. Or does he try to play it on the side? I think he's just going to come over. Yep. Yep. Just came over a little bit. Which was a good stroke to get that cue ball to move any because you're at a pretty uh, shallow angle to try to make something happen. So yeah. Nine is just there. He looks like he can get right past the nine with his cue. He's got to come across. Nicely Very nice. done. And then now uh, just maybe a stop shot here. Well, you kind of want to draw it back that little bit to be... Get off the cue- rail. Y- yeah, cueing over the pocket. Yeah, you, you never want to be on the rail. He almost uh, tried too hard uh, when wiped his feet. Well, okay, that's uh, two runs in a row there for Tyler. So it's a uh, 4 nothing race to nine. Randy's still yet to get on the board here. Yeah. Yeah, and he's got to be kicking himself at this point to see uh, Tyler run out two racks in a row and, yeah, and know the opportunities that he had at the beginning of the match. It's a, a tough thing to sit in your chair and yeah, ignore. Especially when uh, you make a mistake, you know, Tyler runs. You make another mistake, Tyler runs out. So really, I mean, Tyler's just taking advantage, and once he gets to the table, he's just breaking and running right now. Well, it's like he... Uh, the shots already looked like he was that that Randy had missed looked like he was performing under pressure. But yeah, that five ball he missed. But now he's got even more pressure with the idea that the match has started and Tyler is is running away with it. Yeah, and I don't think Tyler's gonna ease up. He's not gonna take his foot off the jugular here. He's gonna keep going. All right. So did anything drop there? Yep. Drop two balls. One ball, one one ball, dropped the two ball. That nine ball has landed right there. We've watched him uh, right off the spot. Kind of move that magic rack a few times now. How did you like using that rack, the Outsville um, Accu rack? Overall, they're a, a pretty good rack. Yeah, they even especially uh, they put a special print on it for the Derby City, which I thought was cool. A little bit of a tester here, not too bad. Oh, he's going for the bank. Well, and that's a that's an example of what we were talking about. I I don't know that he goes for that ball if if he didn't just get done with yep. a bank pool tournament and a one po- or a one pocket tournament. And he's up by four right now, so I think he's got some room. Yeah. So I, I find that interesting, actually, uh, uh, watching and, mm-hmm. and seeing the shot choices be a little bit different. So Randy's got an opportunity here. Um, doesn't look like a very easy out. He's got some work to do here. 
See, there you go again. I mean, that's just... He's off the mark by a half a diamond there. Mm -hmm. And why did he pick up the ball? What happened? It scratched. It oh, went, it did scratch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I didn't... Gotcha. He, he caught it, yeah, before yeah, it, yeah. That was a quick catch. I was like, yeah. why is he picking up the ball? <laughs> he, he kind of assumed it was going in like three inches before it fell. <laughs> okay, so that's why I was like, why is he, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I mean, you don't want to give ball in hand to Tyler here. So that's three mistakes that are just really going to cost him. Now, what is up by the nine? Is that the seven ball hanging up there by the nine? Yep. Okay. So we got uh, two views here. We got, um, if you look on the left side of the screen, you know, we got our main camera, and then we got an overhead view, which is two seconds delayed, which is nice because you can basically watch a replay of the shot here. Um, but with the lighting, it's kind of difficult. If you're looking on the left side of the screen, it almost looks like a four ball purplish. But yeah. that could be me. I'm like colorblind. Then you look on the right side, you can clearly see that it is a seven. Right. Yeah, it's funny the the times that a ball will look uh, completely different from in person. Yeah, and I've seen people actually do it while playing or shooting. You ever see it? Yeah. A at this level too, at the Derby City Classic, mm -hmm. professional players shooting at the wrong ball. <laughs> and you know, a good player might say, "Hey, you're on the five, but uh, I've seen it happen. It's uh. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's embarrassing, but, you know, the, the player that makes the shot is just like, oh, yeah. Right. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Tough scenario. So Tyler running this rack out after the ball in hand. Yeah, oh. at this point, he's. I think Randy's just hoping for one one game, really. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, what, 5 nothing now if I'm keeping the score right. Yeah. So, five games to nil. Yeah, Randy, you at least want to get on the board here at this point. Don't want to go down not swinging. But Tyler is really kind of in stroke here. I mean, he's stroking really well. Yeah. I think he's only missed one shot, and that was the bank shot. Making sure the balls are nice and tight. That's the thing with these racks. I mean, normally the balls lock pretty pretty solid. You ain't got to move them around too much. So do you know how many rounds roughly were in the tournament? Like uh, we're in round two right now. I, I want to say I remember like 12 or 13 rounds. I think the finals was around like round four. 13-14, yeah. 13-14? Yeah. Okay. So still uh, quite a ways yeah. in this uh, nine-ball bracket here. Well, they don't do brackets, actually. They do something interesting. It's such a big field where they, they redraw every every match. Yes. So every round uh, yeah. didn't matter who you would have had coming up. It's just a, a redraw. Yeah, so even if you lost, let's say, your first match, you could be playing someone that won their first match and you necessarily wouldn't be playing someone that lost, like going to a B-side, basically. Yeah. In that regard, it makes it a really fun tournament. I yeah. look forward to next year. I ran into, I can't remember who it was, a pretty high-rated player. I, I'm not going to say who it was, but I, I saw that they drew two buys in a row. Yeah. I mean, I was like, wow, you got two buys in a row. And that helps when you're going to the money, you oh know, yeah. when you get two buys at, in a field like this. That's that's the one weird part about it. Right. I believe even, uh, yeah, it happened a, a few times. So what did I just miss here? Um, it looked like uh, Randy pushed out. Did he break? Did he have a, what? Um, Tyler would have maybe broke dry, but that doesn't look right either. Or yeah, it is. So Tyler broke dry. And then Randy pushed, okay. All right, Tyler elected to take the push, and it looks like he got pretty safe.
Now, this is kind of a tough hit. I mean, you you have to come off the rail once, off the side rail, right? Or do you think you can go off the top rail and get in between the two? Looks like he's trying it. It's kind of a dangerous shot here. Especially with the uh, new cloth. It's tough to read that angle. Yeah, and I mean, you're basically... At Gives Tyler ball in hand again, and the story of this match is you give Tyler ball in hand, he's just going to run out on you. I mean, do you think it would have been safer to just to play off the side rail and kick at it, just get at least a hit? Right, I think it would have guaranteed a hit more more so. Yeah, I, and I think that's a better option rather than giving Tyler ball in hand. But, I mean, maybe, you know, the thinking is if you're down by five, you know, you got to go big or go home. Swing for the fences. Y yeah, you got to swing, and I think that's uh, the route he went. Oh, look at look at that. So, see how he used the spin of the ball to bring it back, which uh, you'll see high level players doing. Didn't really rely too much on the speed, just the spin coming off the rail. Hit it really nice. It right, looks like he's following this to get on the five, coming off the rail. Yeah, it took a little curve, really. Yeah. But that yeah, that sets him up nice so he can get on the six here. So yeah, He's picking his patterns really well. I mean, he's not making any mistakes. I mean, other than the bank that he missed uh, a game or two ago, I'd say that Tyler has been playing pretty much close to perfect. Yeah. I mean, like, even that shot, the eight ball could have gotten away. Got just really nice on it. Yeah, Tyler's just making it look real easy right now. And, uh, yeah, again, it has to be said that even in the beginning of the match, it looked like there was going to be less pressure for Tyler just getting the few opportunities at the start. Well, based off that first shot is what you're saying, you think? Yeah, like yeah. it really determined kind of. Um, yeah, because like, like you said, it was a routine combo, and yeah. he, he missed it pretty big. Yeah. So, it, yeah. Yeah, and then he missed that five ball, and uh, he missed a one ball down in the right corner, which, I mean, that looked like a really routine shot too. Right. So three big, three big mistakes. Right. Um, by Randy, and, and then, then and then put on top of it that Tyler's playing. Yeah, extremely light, lights out. Yeah. So, and then you know he also did the swing and the miss on the two ball. So. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to be in uh, Randy's spot there. And and now you're kind of hoping for another opportunity, and you you haven't had something as easy, yeah, as those first two or so shots at the beginning of the match. Yeah, and Tyler is two thirds of the way there. Score is six to nothing here, race to nine. So three more games away from victory. Another ball down on the break. And what type of shape does he have on the one? It looks like he's got nice shape. Yeah, it kind of runs him straight into a natural pattern. The two balls right there, three balls right after. It's all in a general now, circle. Now, does the three ball go past the six on the side? Yes. It yeah. Does. There, yep. Okay. So in that regard, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, it's almost like a drill. You just got to get past that first that yeah. first one ball, and now he's looking right in line. 
So where's he got to get the cue ball to get this three? I mean, does he got to drop back just a little, little bit? He can make it from anywhere. Um, so the shape on the on the four, that's kind of a personal preference there. Okay. So, yeah, he he drew back a little bit, and then, yeah, yep. he's got the four right after it. I yeah, mean. and he'll probably draw back on this one, too, and then get the four in the right corner now. Just helps so that you're not uh, taking too much of an angle. Yeah, now the, now the rack's completely open. I mean, he's just got to put a little bit of a stroke on it to get to the five. And how about that stroke? Okay, so he's got he's got some angle here. Now does he try to get the cue ball up table or does he play to get the six on the side or is he gonna try to play in the corner? I don't think he will. I think he'll play in the corner. In the corner, yep. Okay. Yeah, because you don't have to hit it that hard. Right. And no chance of a scratch here, so should be just fine. Yeah, and he left himself a nice angle there so he can get on the nine. Yeah, he's played that ball a, a couple times really well, just punching the cue ball out and cheating the pocket a little bit to create some angle for the next shot. Now see that shot? How it just He's using the spin to come off the rail. He's controlling that really, really well. Right. And down goes another one for Tyler Steyer. So that makes it seven to nothing. Randy uh, needs a lifeline here. Yeah, uh, that can be punishing, you know, when you're at an event like this and uh, you're facing an opponent like Tyler and they just they take it to you. It uh, you feel it right in the feels. Yeah. <laughs> well, know? just the, just the idea that. He's kind of waiting, I think, for Randy is for uh, another opportunity like he had right at the start, and Tyler just hasn't hasn't given it to him. Even the few shots yeah, that Randy has had, they've been tougher, tester, long table shots, and and not as simple as the opener. Yeah, it's tough to place a whole match on the first shot, but this one kind of kind of worked out that way. Yeah, I so mean, far. I would have to agree with you. Yeah, it's hard to play an opponent. I mean, if your opponent ain't making any mistakes, it could be really frustrating. Even if you're playing well. It is funny, Patrick, to see you in the in the corner back there <laughs> on the Yeah, the, we should have found a way to blur that out. On the <laughs> uh, on the computer. You're talking and your mouth's just dead flat sitting at the computer I, i'm a ventriloquist <laughs> but in reverse yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can talk without moving my lips oh uh, yeah brilliant okay plan is safe and does he get there of course he does so randy must be a little frustrated so not saying he would jump this um, but there are no jump cues allowed here at Derby City, but I believe you can jump. You just are not allowed to use a jump cue. Is that correct? That sounds right, yeah. Yeah. But I don't think you would jump in this situation. I mean, the ball's just way too far away. It's probably going to have to come off a rail here. I don't see any easy save, do you? What, what do you see here? I think if he can clip the edge of this one off the two rail kick, it might go down table by the by the two ball and the cue ball could stop in that area, but that's about your only real so really just chance, but uh going for got the hit and just left it wide open here for Tyler. And that's kind of been the story of this match, you know, Tyler yeah. if he doesn't have a shot, he plays a great safe and he either gets ball in hand or great position on the next round. So it looks like another, I'm not going to say easy rack to get out, but I think uh, Tyler's going to find himself out of here really, really quick. I mean, you just watch him walking around the table. He's not, he's not taking much time. He's just going right to work.
He does got to get from the six to the eight, though. Yeah, and th in that uh, op opportunity, you really, I think more angle is is better because you can kind of ooh flirted with the side yeah, pocket he's getting there. Yeah, a little uh, little wild. So yeah, so he's got to put a stroke on it here. Seeing if he had more angle, it would have been easier. Yeah, it would have been much, wow. much easier. But he's feeling feeling good. Yeah, look at that. I mean, he he loaded up with some top spin on that. And typically, when you do it, I mean, when you put that much power into a stroke into the pocket like that, you have a tendency to rattle it. So another nice, nice out there by Tyler. <laughs> he threw the towel in. Okay, yeah, he either threw the. Oh, he did. He actually threw it in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Unless I was keeping score because I I got eight, so it could have been maybe I miss. I had to score. There might have been a break and run in there. That. Yeah, I'm not known for my counting ability, but thank you everybody. Really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for more matches. Uh, yeah, we'll see you again with another Derby City Classic video. All right. Thanks again, Mason, for joining me in the booth, and uh, we are out of here.